In this video, I am going to cover the delete syntax, as well as the limit clause. Now, once we have records in, it is common that you want to remove records from tables. To do this, you use the delete syntax. If we select from addresses where user ID equals one, we'll see that the user has three addresses. When they go in and review, they realize that they have inputted one of the addresses twice and one of them is even in error, the uh, either three or five. Well, we'll assume that uh, the fifth one, the second one that was entered was a bad address and the, it's actually the first one that's the proper address. So we need to delete record five from our table. To do this, we use the delete syntax. Delete, uh, the next keyword you have to use is from and then we name the table that we're deleting this record from test user address and this is a valid statement delete from test user address would actually delete all of the records from test user address which is not per particularly helpful uh, unless you need to clean the table so what we will do is we will define a where clause on that delete from user address where ID equals equals five and this will then delete that record and remove it from the table so if we run this record was successfully executed uh, it in PHP my admin it asks us if we want to verify and once it's verified and done we then are now missing that record. So if we do that selection again, select all from users where ID equals one, or sorry, user ID equals one, we will see that we are down to only the two records, which are the two valid ones for that user. Now we can limit the amount of records that are being deleted with the limit clause, which we have actually seen uh, during this select statement here, where we're, we're producing a limit on the select. We can limit the delete by using limit and then how many records we want to limit it to, so five. Uh, in this case, it might be that a user has a certain amount of entries and you need to trim up the records, or there's a natural key that just simply processes through records and removes five, 10, 15, 20, hundreds, if you wish, uh, in that system. Now the limit, where, and order by clause that we have covered previously have all been used by themselves on different different types of queries. They can all be used in conjunction, but they're only useful in conjunction on the select query. The update is not the up. You can use the limit on the update if you only need to update a certain amount of rows. Uh, but the order by clause is not useful on the update and is not useful on the delete because if you're going to delete it, you're going to delete it. Uh, unless you're looking to delete, say, the five oldest, and then you can order by oldest ascending and delete five, and then that would delete the five oldest. But commonly, the order by is not used on the delete. To use them all, first is the where clause, then is the order by, and then is the limit. In this way, we can get some very complex selections, orders, and information out of our table. To show a better example, let's move over to the user table. We can select users where... So we can select the youngest male user. Let's do that. Where is male equals one and... Oh order by age ascending limit one and here we will select the oldest or the youngest male user in our system now the limit has two sections to its clause you can either simply define a number which will limit how many you're selecting if we do two we get two of them the second parameter is basically what page we want to read. 
So we can define it with one parameter, which is how many we want to receive or select out. We can also determine what page. So if, if we have 100 records, we can limit our selection to 10. But then if we want to get record 11 through 20, we can do that as well. So the first structure is how many do you want to get? And if you define a second one, it's what page you want to get it on. So here we would be selecting 10 items. And here we would be selecting the second set of 10 items. So we're going to offset by 10 and then select 10 rows. If we wanted record 90 through 100, we would then offset by 90 records and do that. So for the arbitrary example, what we have here, we can offset by zero and select one, and we'll get the first one, which is 23. If we offset by one, we should get the second one, which is the 25. And if I remember correctly, and we offset by two and get the third one, we should get, I believe, 65. Yeah, age of 65 for our user. So in this way, we can select and limit what we're retrieving out of the database. This is the end of the delete video. In the next video, I am going to cover joins.